And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. 83 degrees in Green Bay down to the south. It was even warmer upper 80s in Chicago and even eastern parts of the United States. But you see this cooler air not too far away from us. We will be tapping into that as we go into the next seven days from above average temperatures down to below average temperatures. We're talking about highs in the lower 60s by next weekend. But let's enjoy today some high level clouds and take a look off towards the distance. We were seeing some cumulonimbus, aka thunderstorm clouds off towards uh, Pulaski areas and farther to the north woods. Pretty cool time lapse right there. Now, right now, still very mild. We're in the lower to upper 80s. Fond du Lac at 87. Also in Wapaka, a little cooler in Anago. They had some showers and storms roll in. 77. Lakeside areas also cooler. So if you don't like the hot and humid weather, you can move right along the shoreline. Manitowoc sitting at 64 degrees, but it is humid. That's what's making it feel even worse than what the current air temperature is right now. The dew point, 70 degrees in Shano, 60. In Acanto. It doesn't help that they had some showers and storms, so that just added more moisture into the atmosphere and the humidity values. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. We're sticking with upper 60s and lower 70 degree dew points over the next 48 hours. So if you want some reprieve of the humidity, you have to wait probably until Friday when a strong high pressure from Canada will push all that humid and warm air away from us down to the south. Uh, here's what Storm Shield radar is showing. Over the last couple of hours, we're seeing a decrease in the coverage of these showers and storms. Uh, there was this little cell right here now moving just to the north of Langley County. That did produce some gusty winds and small hail. It was severe thunderstorm warned earlier in the evening or afternoon, but mostly quiet conditions over the central and southern part of the state. So really for the rest of the evening hours. I'm not anticipating anything significant, even though we do have a marginal risk. So we'll still monitor for any chance of redevelopment of showers and storms. Now tomorrow we have an additional shot of storms. This time it looks like the best chance of seeing some stronger storms will be farther towards the west of Shano towards Wapaka into the Watoma uh, Marquette Green Lake County area. The center of low pressures right now off towards the west. We've got a warm front that lifted northward, so we are in the warm, humid air mass for the time being. But eventually the system will move off to the east and that's going to drive down our temperatures. So rest of tonight, an isolated sprinkle or a pop up storm possible, but real slim chance. We wake up in the morning hours pretty quiet, but then as we get into the afternoon, you start to see additional showers and storms starting to fire up, and that'll be the case also on Wednesday and Thursday. 67 for an overnight low temperature, isolated storm, a little humid out there. For tomorrow, we'll climb up to a high of 84. Could be a degree warmer than our high for today. 82 on Wednesday, 75 on Thursday, and behind it, Oh yes, we certainly do cool down, but at least it will be a little bit uh, less humid. We do get back to 70 degree weather by next week. All right, thanks.